Hi, hello everyone, Dr. Naveen here. So in this video, we'll be quickly discussing an important reaction from biochemistry that is Vandenberg reaction. Try to remember this test tube with the purple color and very importantly, this is positive reaction. So what you see here is a positive reaction, right? Now, and what is the color here? It is purple color. When you see a purple color in a reaction, it is a positive reaction. We call it as a positive Vandenberg reaction. And what is the sample we use for the particular test? It is urine. So it is a urine test to detect bilirubin. And what forms of bilirubin do we look for? There are two forms of bilirubin. One is conjugated form and other is unconjugated form. This Vandenberg test will react both these things. Okay, so in a normal urine sample, in a normal in a normal person, Vandenberg test reaction is negative. Okay, now you have three different variants of reactions. First thing is direct positive. Second thing is indirect positive, and third thing is biphasic. Now, direct positive reaction occurs within 30 seconds. Indirect positive reaction takes around 30 minutes. In biphasic reaction, you, t you see two reactions, one at 30 seconds and other at 30 minutes. So, this is the basic thing. Now, what is reagent here? So, in the Vandenberg test, the reagent for this particular test, what we use is diazotized. What is this? Diazotized sulfonylic acid okay diazotized sulfonylic acid try to remember this this is very important this is the vandenberg reagent so when you add to a urine sample you take a test tube okay inside it you add urine sample to it okay you you take urine sample and to this add this reagent called diazotized sulfonylic acid if this urine contains conjugated bilirubin conjugated bilirubin that means we are thinking in the lines of obstructive jaundice okay in the obstructive jaundice there is only elevation of conjugated bilirubin so in that case when you add this reagent called diazotized sulfonylic acid you will instantly see development of purple color within 30 seconds. We call this reaction as direct positive, which is seen in obstructive jaundice because of conjugated hyperbilin. If in this sample, if you have an unconjugated bilirubin, by adding just diazotized sulfonylic acid, you will not see purple color. Okay, you have to add very important one that is a dissolving agent. So, what is the dissolving agent? The dissolving agent what we are talking about is ethanol. Please remember this is the one more thing. So when you add ethanol, what happens in the next 30 minutes because ethanol acts as a dissolving agent. Now this diazotized sulfonic acid even reacts with unconjugated bilirubin in presence of ethanol. Now that's the reason here as you can see in unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia which is commonly seen in hemolytic jaundice hemolytic jaundice there is elevation of unconjugated bilirubin you will see positive reaction but that is indirect positive reaction that is after 30 minutes now biphasic reaction is seen when there is both conjugated plus unconjugated bilirubinemia which is seen in hepatic jaundice okay which is seen in hepatic jaundice and what is your take home now so in obstructive jaundice, direct positive Vandenberg reaction will be seen. In hemolytic jaundice, indirect positive Vandenberg reaction will be seen. And in hepatic jaundice, both that is biphasic reaction will be seen. And the Vandenberg reaction is used. Why it is used? The Vandenberg reaction is used to differentiate various types of jaundice. 